Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading and this is for Sagittarius Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may Raphael at risk reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I described someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Sagittarius, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link, you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit so Sagittarius you may resonate with the entire reading you may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading take it as you will take what only resonates so Sagis would really appreciate if you can click the subscribe button and smash that like button so that the video can enter the YouTube algorithm so Sagis there's a lot of trials um questions challenges um you may be a little shaken here um or your world is a little shaky it felt like where am i going where this connection is going um you're trying to figure out something however it is kind of like you're going round and round you might um, let's say you might have an opinion or idea or a decision that you wanted to change the outcome of your dynamic right now, right? Um, you're trying to change a specific move. However, the resolution, you know, the outcome still the same. So you're kind of like, you know, there's a lot of... Um, questions now in your head what more can i do am i on the right path um am i doing this right is it really destined for us to be in this situation because for you you're not going to change it if you liked it so most likely you don't want what's happening right um either you want your person to apologize or you want your person to be grounded, um, kind of wanting your person to realize that they did something wrong or that they need to focus on the connection and move this connection into another level. Um, <coughs> wanted to have a unity, you know, um, like what I mentioned there is a little challenges or chaos right that's happening as of the moment it is because you're not on the same page so energetic separations you want your person to have the enlightenment you want your person to have this firm um you know you kind of like can you stand up for this connection can you appreciate the connection right because i felt that this is something that you're not really interested in but here we are can we work this can we work this out right i think that something is about to happen i think it's already on their way um more of do you think that you need to pause something like what I mentioned here with the Four of Swords, um, you're resting, you wanted to rest. Of course, there's exhaustion. You won't go into rest just because, right? You're exhausted of pain. You're exhausted of tears. You are exhausted of this um, in and out situation exhausted of a never-ending um you know a never-ending battle or a never-ending journey that's you know there's no destination to it 
you really want to move this connection even though there is pain so most likely that your person here already hurts you but you're still you're kind of stretching right your patience you're stretching if there's more drop of water in your cup right for you to offer to your person um i can sense here it's either the codependency it could be the controls from your person it could be that i wish that you are not going to push it for more at least at this moment because there's something in you that would you, you will stay you will still say something you will still pursue something and at the moment the devil card is here whatever you do it's not going to work that's why you have exhaustion what I can suggest here is for a little pause. Give yourself a time, give this connection a time, give your person a time focused on yourself first. Because the more you're pushing it, the more there will be separation. You know, when you are stretching a an elastic band right there will come to a point that the you know that the elasticity is going to break so well it depends on you if you wanted to break out uh, from the connection or have really a break want your person to go this can be a um, an advice to the other party who wants to really have separations for now then you really need to push it you really need to push that you really want to break and it'll happen but if you want for this connection to have you know to survive at least to bring back the elasticity of this because it might break like what I mentioned um, give it as a little break, you know, um, let it, let the connection stay where they at, do not make a move, um, let it cool down. You might be connecting with Taurus or has a Taurus placement in their chart or you have a Taurus placement in your chart. Libra or has a Libra placement in their chart or you have a Libra placement in your chart. Leo or has a Leo placement in their chart or you have a Leo placement in your chart. Um, Sagittarius or has a Sagittarius placement in their chart or you might be connected with the same sign rather. Um, Capricorn or has a Capricorn placement in their chart or you have a Capricorn placement in your chart. But this is your reading. If you resonate with this and you want to go in depth. You can book a personal reading with me if you are okay with the reading and you just have a question or two there is a link in the description box click that link you will be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading thank you so much for watching love and light to you namaste see you on the next reading goodbye sagis